There are some stories making headline news across African newspapers this week. As always, headline news is brought to you by Help Me Waka. Help Me Waka, the people who go on errands for you in Nigeria and in Ghana. You look to images. I hereby sentence you to 12 months in prison with hard labor for neglecting your family and especially your father who, who did every, every, everything to, to, to get you where you are today. No, 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 no. Daddy, wake up. I had a terrible nightmare. A judge sentenced me to prison for neglecting grandpa. Did you not give him food items? I'm a busy doctor. In that case, nto. Uh, if I catch you, eh? Daddy, it's very easy. Go to helpmewaka.com, choose any food item anywhere in Nigeria or Ghana. Gary, chicken, rice, yam, anything you want. I will do just that. You better, because next time it'll be your village people that come for you. I cover myself with the blood of Jesus. See, si. in Nagodu. <laughs> yeah. Oh, the first story is big, big, big. Washington Post, Manhattan DA convenes a grand jury to consider potential charges in Trump organization probe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's beginning to look like Christmas. <laughs> I told you guys that New York City keeps its promises. Yes. If we say we are going to get you, we're going to get you. <laughs> ah, Trump, Trump. Russia, if you are listening, <laughs> Prepare a place for him. <laughs> he's coming. Your man is coming home. Uh, he's coming home. He can't survive a week in prison. No, no, no. It's like it's like saying uh, Bolatinubu going to prison. He, he won't survive a week in prison. So, Russia, help, help our brother. <laughs> help our brother. Anyway, next. Hey, Mali's coup leader, Asim Gotti, seizes power again. Hey, hey, hey. Did you know there was a coup in, in Mali? Yeah. The man seeks power again because, because the president and his prime minister have not been consulting him. He, you remember, he planned the coup. He then agreed. They handed it over to the president and the prime minister. They were not consulting him. So he planned another coup and seeks <laughs> power. He has forced the president to resign and the prime minister, all of them resigned. When, um, when Buhari was told about what happened, he said, you can do that? I haven't been consulted in a lot of things. The presidency has been saying in the last few months. I didn't know you can do that. I can plan a coup and <laughs> he has not been consulted. The presidency keeps talking to us, but Buhari not consult. He could plan a coup and overthrow who? <laughs> Next. Oh, this is unbelievable. This is the end of the, the end of the story. Every story. IPOB. Cameroonian separatists to exchange weapons and personnel. Look at the report. Yes, it's over. Last week, they signed NATO's uh, Article 5 with Yoruba. This week, they signed a military pact with Cameroonian uh, separatists. Next week, do you know what will happen? All firstborn males will take the oath. I tell you, I tell you, they, they want to overwhelm Nigeria such that there won't be any shot fired when they declare it. It will just be boom. And Nigeria will be like, okay, okay, that's it. All right, we got it, we got it. No, we got it. <laughs> Next. Oh, this is, this is unbelievable. I, I, the figure, I checked very well to make sure um, my eyes are good. Reps, the House of Reps, summons Malami, the Attorney General, over alleged blockage of $60 billion repatriation. So, so Nigeria has 60 billion in some banks in Texas owned by NNPC, they said. Now, now, <laughs> Malami is stopping them from bringing the money home. Now, if you think that the massive corruption, amount of fraud that we saw when Jonathan left, that it was horrendous. Ha, ha, ha. Just wait when Buhari is gone. What we are going to see will blow you away. But, but remember, the only way that we will know about the fraud happening now is if neither Malami nor Bola Tinubu takes over from Buhari. I'm just telling you, if one of them does, it will be like, um, it will end like this. It's all right, you know, it's all right. Moving with family affair, it's all right. Nonsense. <laughs>